Hi there guys and welcome to another Van Other Collective video. Um, we are a collection of like-minded camper vanners, motorhomers and caravanners who all get together once a month to put out a cool video. This topic of this video for this month is... Our top three meals that we like to cook, cook in the caravan. So obviously, top three meals, obviously when you have a meal, you have a drink with it, don't you? Yeah, too yeah. right. Can you pass me a drink please, darling? Voila. Oh, thank you. Be rude not to, really. <laughs> so yes, so the topic is supposed to be your top three meals that you have in your caravan, stroke, camper van, stroke, whatever it is. But we don't really have a top three meals that we have in a caravan, stroke, camper van, stroke, motorhome, do we really? No, we're all a little bit different. I think I generally tend to cook three separate um, meals. Um, if I'm away, obviously, most of you know I'm plant-based, so I generally cook my own meals. Um, and then um, I generally tend to cook something different for you. And then- I like, I like things very plain. <laughs> so have different stuff for me. <laughs> And then hey ho's little, little hey ho, she's a bit. She's fussy and a kid, so she has her own version of yeah, whatever I'm in. So what she... every meal can be a mixture of vegan food, my boring food, and her kid food. So, <laughs> so we don't. It, our, well, meal can be our top three meal. So we don't really have a top three. But what we thought we'd talk about is the things that we how and what we like to cook and oh. do in the caravan. Oh, oh, what's this? <laughs> and there she is. There she is. Bang on cue. So generally when we go away, we normally take with us a microwave and a tapanyaki. The reason for that is that we do like to try to utilise the electricity on site, which we've already paid for in our site fees, as much as possible. So generally we would be cooking uh, microwave meals, especially the first night away, um, after you've had the long drive and you set up, the last thing you want to do is like start having to cook. So try to bring like a packet meal with us to whack in the microwave. Cheeky, cheeky microwave Cheeky meal. little microwave meal. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make that first night a little bit easier. Um, we also um, do have a hob and we do have an oven, um, but we try to just rely on the electricity as much as possible. Yeah, what's the point in using your own gas? Yeah, might as well. I mean, every, every site that we've been to so far has been, you know, the electrics thrown in as part of it. So you might as well use the electrics for the tapanyaki or the microwave, as far yeah. as I'm concerned. Yeah. So when we are away, I do try to use um, the tapanyaki as much as possible. And in a previous video, the Sandrine one, I did um, show me cooking this vegan shawarma. It's really great. Um, it cooks off really well on the tapanyaki and it's really versatile. It can be put in sandwiches, wraps um, and also salads as well. So it's really versatile and it tastes great. So it's well worth giving it a go if you haven't. And the tapanyaki is really good for meat eaters out there as well if you want to do your your frying up sausages or you can do vegan sausages or, and vegetarian sausages but you can do you can cook all your, your the usual stuff that you do in your pan you on, on, on your hob you can just do it on the teppanyaki plugged in and you, you seem to be able to control it a bit better i think as well and, and there's no splatters as well in your in your kitchen you can cook it inside we generally use it in the awning but you could cook it inside you don't need loads of grease and oil on it it's just maybe a couple of squirts of spray oil um but it is a hot plate and it's you know, stick stick free, so yeah, that's to be versatile, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it, 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 to be, it's a lot cleaner and easier solution we think, and cheaper than using a frying pan, which tends to spit everywhere, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And I don't know about everybody else's caravans or other people's caravans, but some caravan designs that you the the kitchen area is either right next to the seats or it's right next to your bed. So the last <laughs> thing you want. All your little marks. All your there. little marks. Or you're laying in bed, oh, I'll have a line and someone's having a fry up and there's spits going in your eye from across the across the caravan. It doesn't ever happen, but but it's a possibility. You know, health and safety first, people. Always <laughs> remember that in the caravan. So teppanyaki is an excellent idea for cooking, uh, frying and that sort of thing, isn't Although it? Although we have looked at conduction hob as well, haven't we? Like a, yeah, what, that, what are those things? Uh, yeah, are they called conduction hob? I don't know what they're called. Con one of those things, you know what you're talking about. You know, about. like a hob. If you've got you one and you, you you use one, you know, put in the comments below which one you recommend. We're looking we're, for a small one of those. Yeah, we, I've seen some on Amazon that were about £40 and had a couple of rings yeah. on it. And you get some with three or four on it and it's just basically a, like electric hob that you plug in and, you, and instead of using the... The hob in your, in your caravan, you just stick it on the one. top and it's like nice and flat. Yeah. And it, we and considered it, that. Yeah. 
So if you've got any ideas, if anybody else uses one of those, are they worth getting? Are they big and heavy and bulky? You're better off just using the gas or in Tepanyaka, you know, they're worth having. I mean, we a lot of people as well swear by, um, what are those ninja things? Air fryers. Air fryers, yeah. <laughs> and there are other makes available. There are other makes available. Because <laughs> we very rarely use the oven because, uh, we, we in, through our experience, caravan ovens are never quite the same as home kitchen ovens. The, no. The temperature's never quite as, what was the, word it's exact you read on the packet it's, it's not cook. precise it's not and precise. also it yeah. tends to cook from the back it tends to cook it a lot warmer than it does from the front so you, it's uneven yeah yeah it's not a, like a like a blown fan oven no, is it no. so yeah it's a we, we, we have considered getting an air fryer as well but in the end of the day we're we're supposed to be away in a caravan trying to live life to the minimum and if once you've got your your air fryer your teppanyaki your conduction hob your coffee making machine, <laughs> your ice cream maker, your candy floss machine. It, you, it, I don't know how you'd fit it all in, to be honest. Oh, I don't know how you'd tow it. You wouldn't. You'd probably have to have a little <laughs> a trailer trailer behind your caravan, <laughs> just towing all the kitchen items that you have. I know some people love the coffees. We're not coffee drinkers, are we? No, but, but uh, it some, does love a hot chocolate, doesn't she? It does, but I, don't, I would never really. I've never been a big coffee fan, so I've never been a big into the coffee machines i know people love them yeah. I, I understand there's a cult of coffee out there but uh, coffee just tastes like coffee to me but there you go no, don't insult any coffee drinkers no no i think coffee the coffee <laughs> drinkers are the salt of the earth and <laughs> our economy runs on drinking little pods of coffee but it's it's true that yeah it's not we're not really coffee drinkers but uh, we just try to keep it to a, a minimum don't we yeah Yes, I mean, I have. Um, I do have a couple of meals that I do like to cook regularly in the caravan when I'm away, um, as well as like normal things like cereal and toast and bagels and with hummus and stuff like that. Um, I do really like um, smashed avocado um, with some cracked pepper and sea salt on top of um, freshly done toast. I think it just tastes delicious um, and it's really good for you. So I love that. So that's that's one of the ones that I do include. Um, I'll try to put a picture in. I think we've got a picture we've of it. We've got one somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other meal I really like to do is just a quick snack because we're often out quite a bit during the day, aren't we? So when we get back, something really quick to cook um, is just some chickpeas. I fry off a little bit of onion and um, some olive oil in the pan. Um, chickpeas in. You can add in any vegetables you want, maybe some um, garlic. Um, onion salt tastes really nice in there as well. Um, and some plum tomatoes. Um, just cook that off for about four minutes and then nicely laid over the top of some crusty bread just tastes delicious <laughs> uh, we put, maybe put some uh, pictures of that yeah. <laughs> somewhere else i think we've got some pictures i'll <laughs> so we'll try and drop them in so you can see what these concoctions these delights look like <laughs> but uh, uh, quick and easy full of protein and just delicious so and vegan and vegan yes and and my favorite meal is eating out <laughs> I'm not no disrespect to any anybody who cooks, That's but I, I think it's I think I think part of the joys of going out going out and exploring and being on holiday. I know you've got to watch costs and it's not cheap to eat out these days, but it is nice to get out and sample the local delicacies at a, at a pub or something like that. I mean, we've been to one today, haven't we? We're at, we're we're away at the moment and we we went to the pub for dinner. Not cheap. But it was it was a lovely meal. It wasn't was it? delicious, and we went to the um, Sterling uh, Sterling Highland Games, and we picked up some lovely little treats, little sweet treats. We got some uh, some Scottish tablet, Indeed. didn't we? And a little. That's a spoiler alert for a future video, yes, by the way. Which is very delicious. Watch this space for Sterling Highland Games. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's all about just savouring. Uh, you know, it, the economy runs on people. You know, spending money out. So I'm not saying you should always do that but it is nice if you are in another area just to taste something that's a little bit special from that area i think it just makes the holiday what, what was the thing they were selling uh, we're in scotland at the moment there were there was uh, there was some haggis there was an optional extra which you obviously don't get where we come from but there was also what was that special that was on i can't what it was called now i'll see if i can find out what the special was called but it was a really scottish sound never even heard of it like clink or something yeah something there. so <laughs> I, I, we didn't try it obviously obviously went first stuff that we knew but it's a uh, yeah they're, they're, we would like to eat out as well and, and enjoy the local cuisine i think there's a local scottish restaurant on here called it's called mcdonald that we really <laughs> enjoy that's uh full of protein if you are at yellow craig um seriously the castle inn at dalton is absolutely fantastic and dog friendly 
lovely little outdoor area as well at the back for the dogs um so do check those guys out the lovely service again spoiler alert for future video okay. watch this space <laughs> So that was our latest Van Other Collective. Um, we've put a link to all the other people involved in the collective in the description below. Uh, make sure you check out all of their videos, like them, subscribe to them, yeah. do all the usual good stuff. Little Hey Ho is out playing at the moment, so she can't <laughs> say all that. But yeah, that's just our, we, we don't really have a top three meals. Uh, so we, as we say, we're not, we do like our food, but we're not foodie types. Where, no, we, we do we? like seasonal produce as well. So if it's in season, you know, like, we like foraging as well. We went to Scotland last time. We were just like picking, you know, fresh raspberries off bushes. I mean, you know. So we just go with the flow. We're yeah. pretty easy going. So. Yeah, so I, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, as I say, watch all the other videos and we'll see you soon in a one, back to our normal schedule programming. And cheers. Cheers. Schlanter. Bottoms up. <laughs>